What's going on, brothers? Just let me tell you the name. Got a view for you. It's your entitled. The only one part four. Here goes. So, shout out to Brother AC in his videos in regards to these hoochies who pitch for the other team and are just now coming to the realization that they're being used. Mm hmm. They're being used. So, this pretty much means that all these domestic reptiles who hopped the fence and chose to pitch and catch for the other team, who are now running back and jumping over the fence to run back up on their, on their black men. Basically, they've got a taste of what brothers have been going through for all these decades. They got a taste of it and they don't like it. And that right there is just more proof that they don't know us. They don't know us. They can't see the forest for the trees. They don't even know who's eating their lunch. And from what I saw Saturday evening, I'm going to say it like this. For all you domestic reptiles who are north of 200 pounds, all you hoochies who bleach your skin, wear blue, con blue, wear blue contacts, Becky's not eating your lunch. Maria is. Maria, Mei Ling, uh, Long Shell, you know, these Native American women, they're eating your lunch. And you're too stupid and too blind to see it. I spoke with a brother Saturday evening. And I spoke with him for a little while. I told him that uh, I come from a blue collar background. My father is a licensed welder. My paternal grandfather worked at a Ford plant and he uh, learned his uh, skills and abilities in automotive from working there. And the brother told me that he was a civil engineer. And he's probably making anywhere from eighty nine to 130000 a year with his job. And I come to find out that the Maria that he was with is her fiancé. I mean, it's his fiancé. So, yeah. The Productive Brothers... We have eyes ears to hear. They're gone. They're gone. There's no where, there's no body for these domestic reptiles to leech off of. There's no one that they can run up under. They're finished. They're finished because they just don't know us. They don't know productive black men. All they know is Pookie Rary and 12 Gauge Mike. The Driggs, the very worst of the worst. And those evictions. <laughs> For those domestic reptiles and hoochies who try to put that on all black people, no. Nine out of ten of the evictions are you hoochies. Keisha. How is it that you're on Section 8 and you still get evicted? How does it happen? They just don't get it. They just don't get it. And as the temperature continues to plummet, and as the days grow shorter, they're going to realize that they're the end of the rope. They're stuck at the bottom of the pyramid. And nobody is going to help them. Nobody. Not even their idol. Not even their idol. You see, even thinking of funk and playing make-believe on social media for quite some time and all of their lies, all of their stage theatrics is just coming to bite them in the ass. It's hurting them. And it's going to keep hurting them because these consequences are permanent. Mm-hmm. These consequences are permanent. And they could have stopped this. They could put a stop to it, but they didn't want to because their ego and their self-esteem outweighs logic, common sense, and getting under a black man's leadership. So leave them out there. That's my advice to you, Productive Brothers. Leave them out there. The simps will continue to play footage with them and they'll get eaten alive. 
and so were the Democrat goons. And even their numbers are dwindling too because it's becoming increasingly too expensive to be a simp. Those simps are paying $420 more for groceries. It's too expensive to simp anymore. It is too expensive for them to simp, so they're just going to call it quits. A lot of them are calling it quits. That's why more of these coochies are on social media. They're belly aching, complaining, and they're just gaslighting black men. But they can't gaslight productive black men because productive black men are still invisible. If you're not a uh, dope dealer, if you're not a basketball player or some kind of athlete, you're invisible to them. We're invisible to them. So I don't know what they think they're going to achieve by just uh, you know, flicking shit at productive black men and men that they have despised and have ignored for half a century. They're warped. They're gone. And their actions reflect their character. Their actions reflect their character. They don't know us. I'm gonna say it again, they don't know us. They don't know the Urkels, they don't know the Carlton Banks, they don't know the lame ninjas. They don't know brothers who clear six figures. They don't know brothers who are in the big five. They just don't know us. And even though they don't know us, they're still gonna try to look for the bigger fool. Well, I got to say it like this, the bigger fool is going to be increasingly harder to find since this is election season, we're going into election cycle, this, this is going to be even harder for the bigger fool to find. In the next few months, you brothers, with your soul, you brothers, if I seriously hear you productive brothers, we're going to be bombarded with a bunch of gaslighting. A bunch of stage theatrics and a whole bunch of madness. All of these entertainers, all of these bad faith actors, all of these gene pool polluters and refugees from a full toilet are going to be trying to punk you and muscle you into voting for that scumbag. The scumbag who made her bread locking up poor black people and taking Nina Simone's house. Yeah, she actually uh, made it possible for people outside of Nina Simone's kindred to take her house from her. I think the daughter of Nina Simone didn't appreciate that. But yeah, Keep you on the swivel. Stay safe. Stay vigilant during these perilous times. That's advice for you, brothers. If you have faith, keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Strive lawfully. Do that. Mm hmm. It's not a big tale. So I got for you. But the best share in your commentary. If you subscribe, if you don't, miss my channel. You find tip jar on my channel. All right, fam. All right, brother. You know it's real. In your routine, go and live with you. SYSPM is with these hoochies. These domestic reptiles, these bitch made simps, and those are probably we say how we say it, give them nothing. This must be in PSC. Welcome to State. See you soon.